That was a very hard impact. Full course caution, huge impact between the 99, the Daytona prototype, and the 62, Memo the GTLM Ferrari. Memo Gidley behind the wheel of the 99. That crash was more than three years ago in Daytona. It still gets my heart racing today. And next month, I am so glad to say that Mamo Gidley <laughs> will return to racing as a driver for TKO Motorsports. He will race in the Pirelli World Challenge Series during the IndyCar Weekend at Sonoma, September 15th through the 17th. He'll be behind the wheel of a Porsche GT3R. Congratulations just on coming back. You're signing with TKO Motorsports, and we look forward to having you out there. It's just been such a long road, a long recovery, three years. Is it a little surreal to even look at that crash and think how far you've come? Yeah, you know, I mean, that crash was just a, a blink in the eye because uh, really the recovery, um, you know, the, it's actually almost four years, but yeah. the uh, almost four years, and it took about two and a half years to get to where I was sort of enjoying life again. And, uh, you know, before, the months after, it was just the, the nerve pain I was in, it was just horrible. And it was just, I was trying to find, like, little moments of joy just to keep me going but watching the accident i don't remember it so i don't know was that me in there or not yeah <laughs> but like you said there was so much pain to come back what mentally kept you in that recovery process and make you want to return to the track with everything you've had to go through because multiple surgeries you're not physically the same as, as you were so how mentally did you stay in are you saying i don't look very good no not at all <laughs> he looks I'm great you had nine surgeries you had some fusions you know right you look fabulous and i know you're a fitness nut and that's great but you've had to go through yeah. a lot of pain to get to where you are. Absolutely. Mentally, well, how do you go through that and want to return? Absolutely. Well, people ask me, well, do you want to get back into a race car? And uh, my number one goal right from the beginning, because I was so weak, I weighed 140 pounds and I was in just this chronic pain that was horrible. I just wanted to get back to where I could start living a normal life. And racing wasn't part of that at that point. For me, I was just focused on how I could get back stronger and get rid of the pain I was going through. You know, Mamo, I have to ask you, uh, motor racing is replete with stories of guys that have done exactly what you're about to do. People have had serious injuries. A.J. Foyt's probably the king of it on and off the track with all the injuries he's had. Uh, uh, Felipe Massa in Formula One, Nicky Lauda have come back uh, to race in Lauda's case six weeks after getting almost burned to death. But uh, yeah. do you get inspiration from, from that? And have any of the drivers uh, given you a call while you were rehabbing? Yeah, you know, I've, I've gotten a huge amount of support, not only from other drivers, but um, fans. And uh, it's, uh, you know, it's, I, I always wonder, and I always mention this, that I don't know how an average person, if they, and, you know, you learn that people deal with stuff that maybe you've gone through, just average people that don't have the support of maybe family and as many friends or, uh, you know, people that are looking out for them. So it's, uh, I, I actually feel pretty lucky, um, you know, not to have gone through what I did, but to have the people that were behind me to, you know, help keep me motivated um, and pull me out of it. One of the key steps, obviously, is getting back on the track. And I wanted to ask about the role of the, the karting track up in Sonoma for that process for you. Yeah, Sonoma Raceway is an awesome track. I mean, it's actually, there's a corner on the go-kart track that's named after me, which is great. So, <laughs> but uh, so I, have, I have to do it well every time. Otherwise, you know, I have a lot to live up to. <laughs> um, but it's, uh, you know, the whole facility is fantastic. Um, you know, we were talking about, but I, I went over out there when I was 10 years old, when I was racing motocross, long before I got into car racing, because I was 20 years old when I got into racing cars. And, uh, and then go-karts were shortly after that. And it's just, it's a facility that I just go out and have fun at and enjoy being there probably three or four days during the week. So, I mean, I love it. And you did some testing this summer in Utah, right? What did that entail? The testing in Utah was a promoter test day for Pirelli World okay. Challenge, which is the series that I'm going to be, the race I'm going to be running in. And uh, it's just really a, a, a way for the team because TKO Motorsports is new to car racing. They come from offshore boat racing and drag racing, but new to car racing. So just to give them sort of a feeling of what it's like to be at a race weekend and also to meet series uh, officials and, uh, you know, other people that are around you know, what kind of support we would get. Yeah, we're looking at your car right now. And for those who may not know about the Pirelli World Challenge Series, what is unique about that series? What does it offer racing fans? Well, it's fantastic racing, and uh, the cars are just uh, very fast. They're, it's probably, you know, they, they resemble a, a street car, uh, you know, a McLaren or uh, a Porsche or an Audi or a Corvette. 
but they're so much faster than the streetcar. They have probably 90% of the same parts, so very similar. So it's close to production cars you can get. Close to production, much. yeah, but extremely fast. And, you know, the Pirelli World Challenge, definitely some of the top drivers in the world, you know, guys that are out there have raced all over the world. And uh, I don't know why I keep putting this, you know, making it difficult for myself to, you know, come back to something so hard. <laughs> but uh, coming back to the Pirelli World yeah. Challenge Series, I could have done things a little bit easier. Let's put it that way. <laughs> well, you're a sailor. Are you going to race in the trans back one day? Uh, <laughs> let me think about that. <laughs> okay. If I had a body double, then I would. I, okay. need, I need to have a clone. So we'll yeah. see what happens. Mamo, thank you so much for coming in. Good health to you. Good luck to you. We look forward to watching you in September. It'll be a lot of fun. We're so glad you're here. Thanks. You know, just uh, anybody going through what I've gone through or any part of uh, something that's hard, you know, just uh, hope to give people some inspiration that you never know what will happen. You just have to uh, go after what you want. And that's what I'm doing. Absolutely. Thanks. Thank Congratulations. You so Thank you very much. much. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks. Well, when we come back, we go back to NASCAR and we're going to focus on the last great Coliseum. It's Bristol, baby. Next on Race Week.